In this screencast, I'm going to explain you the concept of geometry simplification in geolayers, uh, which is pretty much just removing detail from geographical features. First, why is it a good idea to uh, simplify geometries? Because if an island, for example, of this feature is smaller than a pixel, you might not want to draw this. And you might even not draw it with like all the detail that its coastline has with every single little bay or anything. This would slow down your project a lot. So therefore geolayers can simplify the geometries and you can enable it with this option right here. I'm gonna highlight a very tiny state of Germany right here. So I'm simply clicking draw feature. Now this looks good, but I've got an animation right here and as the zoom in takes place, this feature looks jacked because the quality is not enough. That's because GLayers simplifies the feature for a certain view. And we have set the simplifying mode to the current zoom. So if we would draw our feature in this view, it looks perfect again. Now this can be very annoying if you're animating back and forth and scrubbing through the timeline and you always need to set your map to a state where it's zoomed in that far. That's why we get another simplification mode. So if you click this one again, it will toggle to max zoom. And in this way, no matter what is the current zoom that you're looking at, GeoLayers is gonna analyze your whole animation, find out the biggest zoom, and is gonna simplify according to this largest zoom. But there's more options for the simplification and you can find it in the preferences. Scroll down to the shape layer drawing section and there you can find some more options. The first one, accurate topology simplification. We will come back to this a bit later. And the second one is the simplification detail. It sounds complicated, but as I said, GeoLayers simplifies for a certain zoom and it will look pixel perfect in that zoom. But if you crank up this slider, GeoLayers will give it like a little buffer. So it will simplify it for the zoom level you see plus two. So you can zoom in a lot more and the feature will still be pixel perfect. And same goes for negative values. If we wanna have a hugely simplified feature, then we can set this to a negative value. And I'm gonna show you what that does. I'm gonna download some features here and draw them. So we got heavily simplified features right here. And there is one more option we're gonna talk about. So you see that uh, those borders, especially like the shared borders of different features look super jacked. You might like it, you might not. So therefore, GeoLayers has the topology simplification, which is this little checkbox here. And if you enable it, GLAs is gonna find shared borders from features, and it's gonna simplify those shared borders in the same way. Like that, our feature looks oversimplified, but super clean. This comes pretty handy if you like doing infographic or things like that. This method has one downside though. It is a lot slower. So if you have really detailed data sets, it can be kind of slow. I'm gonna demonstrate that one. And you see this bar here. And if it's too slow for you, you can always click simplify faster. And this will again take the normal simplification mode where you got the jacked edges, but it will be lots faster. I hope this video helped you to understand geometry simplification in GeoLayers a bit better. Bye!